Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to install VS Code on our Windows machine. So uh, we can go to Google, google.com of course, and uh, type uh, download, uh, download VS Code. And here you have to uh, select the link that says code of Visual Studio.com, of course, and just enter here, download Visual Studio Code. So when you come here, if you're using um, other operating system, you can pretty much select like this. If you're using Mac, you can select this. If you're using Ubuntu or stuff like that, you can pretty much select from this list. So uh, we are trying to download the Visual Studio for for Windows. So we're going to select Windows here. We're saying Windows. Just click here. Then you wait for it to start downloading. I'm going to start downloading it here. So we just have to wait for some few seconds, I guess. Let's hope it's fast. OK, it's kind of slow though. So you wait for the download to be done. Okay, so now download is done. You can just open it. Or you can just go to the folder where the download folder. Okay, in this case, just open. But you can still find the, the file in your downloads. Yeah, in your downloads. So I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. And next, just say next, uh, next. If you want to create a desktop uh, icon, you can just check here. I don't want to do that. But if you want to easily access VS Code using a shortcut on your desktop, you can just check here. I don't want to do that. Um, so just leave everything the way they are. It's just next, then install. So after that, after that, you have to make sure that this thing is checked so that uh, when you just click finish, uh, this code will open. Okay, so we have to wait for it to open. So uh, the reason why it's showing all this is because uh, I already had uh, this code installed on my machine. So it's just pretty much uh, loaded the things that I opened in the previous uh, uh, session that I was recording so that's the reason why it's like this but uh, you can ignore all this and uh, head to this where it's saying extension so this uh, because this is a dot um, a course I would encourage you to install uh, the dot extension so you have to just search here just click uh, just search for that then uh, you select this one, the one that's uh, showing that it's verified, I can say. Yeah, so here, of course, here it's going to show you install, but me, I, it's already installed. The extension is already installed. So you can just click install. Then after that, everything is done. And I think this is pretty much it. So I'll see you in the next video, if there's another video, actually. So bye.